On Saturday, Fight Network's live presentation of Bama 6 emanated from the historic Wembley Arena in London, England, and featured three intriguing middleweight matchups. In the main event, well-traveled Brazilian Marilla Ninja Hua, brother of pride and UFC legend Mauricio Shogun Hua, challenged charismatic British banger Tom Kong Watson for the Bama Middleweight Championship. Watson was the aggressor for most of the opening stands at pressuring Hua with an assortment of jabs and round kicks, forcing him to backpedal against the cage. Hua landed several counters and secured a late takedown, but the round belonged to Watson. The champion continued to pick apart Hua in the second round, stuffing a takedown attempt and clinically dissecting Ninja with his striking. Watson connected with a vicious right head kick, dropping Hua, who wobbled back to his feet and continued to absorb punishment to the left leg. Ninja came out more aggressive in the third, immediately shooting for a takedown, only to eat several knees in the process. Hua could barely stand as Watson unleashed another destructive head kick, followed by a fight-ending flurry for the emphatic knockout victory. Hua needed assistance to exit the cage. Ninja Hua exits the cage with assistance. He cannot walk. That left knee is busted up. Meanwhile, the title holder Watson earned his ninth victory in his past 10 fights. In other action, 39-year-old Extreme Couture product Frank Trigg took on Welsh knockout artist John, the self-proclaimed white Mike Tyson, Phillips. Trigg wasted little time securing a takedown before unloading with devastating elbows, which opened multiple deep gashes and sent blood streaming down his face. Nasty elbow! Over the left eyebrow of Phillips here in the first. Blood is already flowing like you've caught it so right so far. Doctors intervene at the 241 mark, halting the contest and awarding the longtime veteran Trigg a TKO victory due to cuts. He's made the decision. To kick off the featured card, 40-year-old Toronto native Ivan Salivary came out of retirement, accepting a clash with Cage Rage veteran Matt Ewan on two weeks' notice. In the opening frame, both fighters felt each other out. Salivary targeted inside thigh kicks, while Ewan did some damage with his heavy hands, one of which dropped Salivary to the canvas. Both men appeared tentative throughout the fight, but the UFC veteran Salivary was effective with his kicks in the second round. Both men were visibly tired by the third round, but Ewan was more active, even securing a takedown on the BJJ specialist, who never seemed to take the chances necessary to ensure a victory. In the end, it would be Ewan prevailing over the Canadian by unanimous decision and earning his fifth win in a row. In a welterweight contest, former Cage Rage welterweight champion Che Mills dominated Mario Caesar and dropped a storm of punishing shots on the mat to record the one-sided first-round knockout. Emphatic finish, as you said, 